Not gonna lie to you guys, when they hit you with that do 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 like every time and either pumps me up or it makes me like choked up inside. It it never like fails to do that. Like every time I hear that it just it gets me going. And honestly, I enjoyed this episode. I hate that the series is ending, but we have finally gotten some major stuff happening some two major things have occurred and i enjoyed like i said i've already said that i enjoyed but i really do enjoy this episode let's go ahead and go right into it we first start off having lucy uh, as we saw previously in the last episode being possessed by the darkness the demon the demonic scriptures that are pretty much above her like she cannot control but we have her you know starting being possessed she starts burning up to the point to where it becomes almost unbearable but we have gray luckily you know i guess calming her down with his ice magic uh, very much helpful and this allows her to con excuse me continue on with what she was doing uh we have then natsu just raising up literally in <laughs> zero's word miraculous recovery um, he is able to stand up against Zeref one more time and actually have one of the best fights that we've seen between Natsu and Zeref and possibly one of the, probably the best fight that Natsu's had. Um, when I read the manga during this scene, and I'll mention this, uh, it was a bit, a bit underwhelming that this was, uh, you know, the way he defeats them, but I understand now seeing it animated that it was probably the best way, like, having uh, Natsu realizing that he was being selfish a lot of this time. He was thinking about himself going through the motions. He fought Grey because of anger due to Lucy. Uh, she, he thought she was dead. And, you know, as we saw all that, Natsu was, was actually, you know, realizing now that he needs to be fighting for the guild, for the family that he has. And that gave him even more power. And I guess, you know, power of friendship has always been something that Fairy Tale has always been about. And so this gives him an extra boost. Zero actually goes and does the same thing. He calls upon all of his feelings, his emotions, his hatred, his anger, the darkness, all of it channeling together to make it into energy or magic. And this causes them to have a nice little stalemate between the two and they just go right into it and honestly i'm gonna focus on this fight solely and i'll talk about the second part part of the episode uh, afterwards but like during this actual fight you see the struggle that they both have uh the dialogue we hear how natsu says that he's doing this for the guild that because of my emotions or well, because of the emotions i'm getting this power uh, and Zara rebuttals by saying, you know, I'm trying to create a world and where everything's better. And Natsu is basically saying, no, you're trying to deny this world's existence. And we have them going at it until we see that the fire actually starts to burn Zara with this new, you know, white form. You would we would have thought maybe he was actually going to be even more powerful. And though he was, it was pretty much feeling to be like a simple temporary thing it, it didn't seem like it was really all that lasting and we have Zeref finally being defeated by Natsu to the point to where this guy can't even get up uh, and Natsu basically you know clocks out says hey I'm done I'm tired can you handle it uh, first master and she actually gets up and says okay yeah and we have Natsu walking away but then we get to the second portion and probably the best part of the episode in my opinion we have Ichia and the gang still being pursued by Acnologia we have Jalal trying the best as he can to try to hold off uh, as best as he could but unfortunately Acnologia pretty much has it with Jalal and he absorbs even more of his magic and just literally start squeezing the life out of him. Of course, we know how Ezra, I mean, Urza is going to be react. She's, you know, basically losing it, seeing her, her closest friend and possibly, you know, obviously her love interest, you know, being squeezed to death. And this causes 
her to basically kind of like go a bit crazy but she doesn't do much in this episode obviously she's very exhausted during her fights but we have everyone being pushed out of the uh, of the boat i mean or the ship because the, the christina is actually about to explode uh i didn't realize how many people were on this thing honestly uh but Anne actually decides to stay on the boat oh, on the ship excuse me tries to maneuver this by herself and she really can't she's really struggle busting here uh, and trying to maneuver the ship around uh, with really no success we have debris falling on her even and then we have an unexpected hand to show up and that is none other than our man Ichio people honestly those that never appreciated Ichio uh honestly you guys suck Ichia is also a great character, a side character, yes, but one of the best. Uh, he's funny, he's strong, he's got a great heart, I love him, his design is purposely made that way to just, you know, throw, off, throw a lot of people off, but honestly, Ichia is one of the best characters in this series. This man literally says, I can't let a woman with an excellent perfume to do this by herself. And, you, you know, you could honestly kind of see a little sparks flying between these two. But that's really not the point here. We see Ichia pulling the, one of the most, I guess, noble things that could be done in fairy tale. He actually, along with Anne, go full force into this whole time rift. Everyone is telling them no. And you see the struggles that they're having, man. It's very, very tough to see how... You know everyone especially like the closest the the trio that's all or the quadruple i think yeah the trio is always with him along with uh, jenny you know to see him go and then pushing acnologia who was taken by surprise he does let go of jalal uh, fortunately each year is like you have to stay behind you have to live you have someone to protect and we see obviously he's referring to urza who does swim towards jalal's direction uh wendy starts losing it too when we see that she's losing her sensei once again and they disappear uh we have them successfully taking aglologia Aglologi, excuse me through the time rift and but everyone starts crying they're losing it i feel bad for jenny who's like but we won right and full of tears urza in tears as well because she has that respect for Ichia and now even more so rip to those greats right now it's honestly a sad moment but is the win truly in their favor but guys that is it for me hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like comment down below your thoughts and as always stay safe and i'll catch you later